Welcome to my charming abode and my Christmas home tour for 2023. Decorating and getting my home ready for the holidays this year is just a little different. <laughs> for those of you that follow along and know our situation with Jason and his early onset dementia, sometimes that that just plays a role in everything that we do. But I am here to give you just a teeny tiny bit of encouragement if I can, because I just feel really led to tell you this. When you get those thoughts in your head that you're too stressed out, there's too much pressure, there's all these bad things going on in your life and you want to shut down. You don't feel like decorating. You don't feel like any kind of holiday cheer. I want you to remember this. That is the enemy talking to you. He wants to put a damper on your holiday spirit. He wants to put a damper on all the joy that you can find in this Christmas season. So even though it might feel like you can't, I want you to push through and you'll be so happy you did. Cause boy, do we have a lot to be thankful for, especially at Christmas time where we can celebrate Christ's birth. Now I'm going to share my joy with you and hope that it spreads to you and just show you just some fun things I did this year. I toned it back for me. And some of you are going to look at this and be like, she toned this back. <laughs> I toned it back and I just did things a little more simple. I just, for my own life, I just need things to just be a little more clean, a little more simple. But real quick, speaking of blessings, I want a huge shout out to our sponsor today of this video, Good Shop. So we're gonna go over there and check that out real quick and then we'll start our tour. It's one of my favorite times of the day. It's when I get my Good Shop order, because I don't know about you guys, but right now it's getting colder and dark super early and I don't want to get out. So I love getting on Good Shop and ordering all my meat I'm straight to my door, so super convenient because I'm all about convenience. The best part is, is you can get, look at these beautiful ribeyes. Let's just talk about these. This is one of my favorite things. Look at the marbling detail in that. These are amazing. All of their meat is from American farms and fisheries. So super awesome. No added antibiotics or hormones ever. I have said in the past that the chicken is my favorite. It tastes so juicy and tender, has the best flavor. I highly recommend the chicken. It's like top tier. So today we're doing fish. I'm super excited. Let's see, we have rock fish that I ordered and then I'm branching out. I want to try some new stuff. I love salmon. I've had the salmon and then we have sable fish, which is what Jason is going to cook for us today. I'm so super excited about. The best thing is, is Good Chop gives you a 100% money back guarantee. That's how much they know you're going to love it. All right, Mr. Weiser, what are you making for us today? We are gonna try the sable fish, which is black cod. Okay. And I'm gonna make it with a brown butter sauce. Oh, okay, I'm excited. Well, Jason's back there finishing up cooking. I wanted to let you know that you can head to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use my code, acharmingabode120. You'll get $120 off across your first four boxes today. Or you can also click the link in the caption down below. There is something for everyone. You can choose from 60 plus high quality cuts one of my favorite things is to go on a good shop, look at their weekly menu, try to decide what I want. Do I want the 100% grass fed steaks? You know, do I want salmon? Do I want Pacific cod, scallops, shrimp? There's so many different options. So cheers. If you want the ease and convenience of having your meat shipped straight to your door, then head to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use my code charmingabode 120 you get $120 off across your first four boxes today. Let's start here, right when you come in the door in my stairwell here. I did my garland just a little bit different this year where I didn't put a lot of embellishments in it. I just did a nice little drape with a couple little bows on the end, not a lot of adornments. I really did, wasn't in the mood for like a bunch of ornaments and ribbon and all that. I just kind of wanted it just kind of clean and simple and just kind of just let it all flow nicely to where it just feels pleasing to the eye. I have to talk about something that I put up here that I have really been wanting and I'm so excited about it. I wanted to show you my adorable little village that I have been wanting for quite some time. I found this one at Hobby Lobby. It just came with these cute little houses and church and buildings and trees. This sign was the perfect sign, a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices. 
and I just added in a little bit of garland up above and I already had a picture light there and I just felt like a combination of the gold with the white and then with the little village, which sorry about the weird shadowing right there. And it makes me happy. I had to hang Albert again. He is just my favorite little deer with his little glasses and his smoking pipe. He hangs right next to the front door when you walk in. And I really didn't want to put a lot on this table. It's rather small, but candlelight right here. Just really like imagine here. It's just there. That's the natural glow and it's just so nice. So right over here to the left is the dining room. A few little fun things that you can do to your dining room if you don't want to put too much effort into it is I added a little command strip here, just the kind that has the little hook because then I can just remove it easily later. And this is an actual like candle ring. And so I'm like, oh, those would be so cute. And I just have the little bow and I just hung those all over the dining room chairs. I knew I wanted just a really simple centerpiece and these bells were like so perfect and just added in the black with the greenery and that kind of goes with the theme in here as you saw on the bows and as you'll see over here on the buffet. But how adorable are these? This is just like perfect little setting, exactly what I was looking for. I decided to add in these beautiful crystal little snowflakes. A lot of times in the past you guys will have seen that I put in like garland or wreaths around my chandelier and that just felt too heavy this year and I just really wanted to do something a little softer, just a little more sparkly and I decided boom six of those and that's perfect. You will definitely notice a theme throughout my home. I absolutely adore deer. It is something that I've had just an affinity for for a long time. Grew up with my dad who loved to go deer hunting and I just think it represents just something that is a really great memory for me and so you'll find those throughout my home and so I got this picture a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby and it just hangs so nicely in this spot and it's in my colors and my theme and I had to bring it back out. This year, this is a little different for me. I decided to put this really pretty swag here, but put it lower to where you could still see the wood in the mirror and then add in my little gold deer head. And I did one on each side and I just feel like it's really nice the way it flanks the buffet. And you don't have to overcomplicate it. I just love it. I didn't actually add very much to it. It already had these really pretty blueberries. So, so not a lot of thought had to go into it, just a little bit of placement and it ended up being perfect. I found these black deer last year at Aldi and they are a fantastic knockoff of the ones from Pottery Barn for a lot less money. So I felt like they really rounded out this room with the colors and then the trees and then just hanging a wreath up above. And I felt like that just made my dining room look nice, but keep it nice and clean looking. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I put out a video showing me decorating my master bedroom here. So we won't focus on it too long in here. This is the one room in the entire house that has red. For the rest of my house, because I have so much blues and greens and that type of thing, I kept it in my color palette. So I try to have like a very like cohesive home. But this is the one room that I just felt like I needed a little red because red makes me think of love. And you know, this is our master bedroom. So there you go. There's some really fun touches in here. I have more of the little Christmas trees. I love this little black deer that's over here. And you guys know if you watch that video, I absolutely adore, adore this little sign that says Frosty's baby picture. Does it really get any cuter than that? Oh, this little cutie is all upset because I put her blanket away to film. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, but why am I laying here without anything cozy? One of the things I absolutely love is to have symmetry. It's so awesome when you walk in my front door and you look in here and this is what you see. I absolutely adore this tree. And I did do a video on that and I show some really great tips on doing your ribbon and doing your ornaments and stuff like that. And so, oh goodness, maybe if I pick her up, she'll stop whining. And <laughs> thank you. And so be sure to check that video out if you're getting ready to put up your tree and you want some really great tips. Oh, we're just gonna get kisses. So I really just wanted to keep it like soft in here and just really, you're gonna notice the theme 
my theme for Christmas is really celebrating the birth of Jesus and like you're gonna see like joy to the world and you know different signs and everything and all my decor has something to do with that I got this adorable nativity scene and then adding in the crystal things on the mirrors on each side really does something for the wow factor when you walk into this room between those and then the star and then it's just a really great way how it draws your eye to it love that so I just never feel like when you see this mantle on camera like it ever gives it any justice like first of all I almost died getting that wreath up no I'm just kidding it was really difficult and I really love how it turned out with the bells in there and then of course my deer and the candlelight and just our stockings it's just a great representation of the cohesiveness that i'm looking for in my home is that the word of the video cohesive <laughs> i'm just really enjoying it so here is what it looks like when the filming lights aren't on oh look how in the camera it looks like the lights are blinking interesting that side went out that side came back on i just want you to know that in like from the true eye it is not doing that one thing that's driving me crazy is that this wreath is not lit up but let me tell you i'm gonna have to figure out a way because i think i'm not gonna be able to handle it <laughs> some of the fun stuff that i've added to my tree is this really beautiful grapevine wreath i tore it apart i showed it over on instagram and wrapped it around my tree and I just love how it turned out. Absolutely love the sign in the middle. It just feels like it gives it just a little bit of rustic charm. For all you Home Alone fans, this little beauty's in the bathroom. <laughs> Cracks me up, seriously. This is what you want to look at when you go into the restroom, right? If you ever want just some really simple, nice Christmas decor for your mantle and you don't want to ugh, put a lot of thought and effort into it, this is my favorite little Christmas tree farm and I've done this the last few years. I wasn't gonna do it this year, but I did it. I just love it. I got this little Christmas tree farm sign a few years ago, I believe at Hobby Lobby. And then all I do is add in a bunch of different types of Christmas trees with some little twinkle lights. Super simple decor, but an easy idea for you guys if you're looking for something. All right, in here in my kitchen, I kept it super simple. I have this beautiful nativity scene. Look, it's so pretty. your reminder to never let anyone or anything steal your Christmas spirit. I really enjoyed sharing my home with you guys today. And thank you again to Good Chop for sponsoring today's video. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas.